what's up you guys after your reaction today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the walking dead this is season three episode 14 let's get into the episode dude i've seen a lot of chains this today I'm trying to make a really dumb Almost joke done. and my joke just kind of come down came down to like do you need an army arms i don't know so this is while they were together. Why is you getting restless again? You still haven't told me. Where did you find them? Did they attack? Did you hunt them down? Or did you know them? I'm so sorry. You want to talk about it? They deserve what they got. They weren't human to begin with. Is this a new thing between you and Andrea? I'm not kink shaming, I'm just just wondering. The governor wants all this? He wants options. Where is he now? Not here. How many are going out? Everybody. I thought there was a deal on the table. I'm sure it's just a precaution, a show of force. You know it's not true, you little shit. Well, no. no. You, you need some? What is that? My workshop. How does that help Woodbury? Excuse me? This was supposed to be a new start, a way out. What about everything we talked about? Beating this thing, clawing our way back. This business with Michonne, I understand, but the people at the prison. What? I should move on? Yes. Well, I will, as soon as this is over. Philip, let me ask you something, huh? Do you still believe the biters have some spark in them, huh? Of who they were? I think so. And that was my daughter. You're Lord. an idiot. You've learned nothing. Whether that was Penny or not, it's done. It doesn't matter. It's all that matters. There is no deal. Philip's asked for Michelle. Good. Rick would never agree to that. Whether he hands her over or not, he's gonna kill them all. Good. I'm I'm really glad that you can. did that, Milton. Now whether or not Andrea will actually do anything, we'll find out. <laughs> Leave. Tell the people at the prison to get out of there. In time he'll move on. No. I have to kill him. You'll never get close to him. They'll gun you down first. Only if they see me coming. Milton, this is sick. I mean, Just yeah. Hang back and watch them. Yes, but you need to warn them? That would be the smart option. Him. He doesn't give a shit about you. I knew Philip before he became the governor. That man still exists. I don't believe that. Okay, so you kill the governor. Then you get shot. Then Martinez takes over. What then? Killing the governor doesn't save your friends. Then I have to go back. Warn them. Yeah. That and is what you said. I can't leave Woodbury. You really want to be a part of this? I don't know anyone at the prison. So what? You know Merle. He fit in. He'll be fine. Like it or not, I belong here. He can cover for you. And if you stay, you can't keep looking the other way. Take care of yourself. Governor wants all weapons collected. Gotta get the team geared up. I think I'm more helpful armed. Hand over your piece and any ammo. No. Let's not be stupid about this. Hand over your piece. Got a knife? You wanna frisk me? I should have told you about all this. I'm sorry. I just stopped. I want to keep you separate from this. You understand? Yeah, I just want to help. Well, you can. I want you with us when we go meet Rick. Tries anything, you can talk some sense into him. Tries anything? Well, you trust him, I don't. Understood. I'll be there. You're wasting ammo. How are we 
you're missing so badly. Got it. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> hey, large pack of walkers was spotted heading for the main wall. Martinez wants some help. We're not supposed to leave this post. Ask Martinez. I'm just doing what I'm told. I mean, you gotta bring him over. We need to hear it from him. You're wasting time. Why can't you handle it? You're supposed to be a good shot. What are you doing? I gotta get out of here. Nobody leaves. Please, I don't want any trouble. What is this about? Just Look, get out of my way. Out there. Don't. Relax. Nobody's gotta get hurt here. I'm sorry, it's just this place is... I can't stay here. Why? The governor, he is not what he seems to be. He seems pretty straight up to me. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. But I'm telling you, he has done terrible things. He's planning worse. I gotta get out of here, and you should, too. You're rattled, exhausted. Just put the knife down. I'm going. Okay. We shouldn't have let her go. What do you want me to do? Shoot her? You should have stopped her. Stop her how? Shoot her in the back? Oh, you did the right thing. Thank God neither of you were hurt. We stand on that wall to stop biters, not keep people in. This isn't a prison camp, is it? Of course not. It's just she's in no shape to take care of herself. Seems pretty capable to me. She was out there all winter, alone. Can you imagine? She wasn't alone. She was Michelle. You two had each other or your friends. She only had the biters. You're full of shit, mate. When we brought her in and tried to help her, but it was too late. She'd been out there too long. Did she... Did she say anything? Like what? I don't know. Like what panicked her? No. I hope this doesn't affect us. What do you mean? Well, we heard she was with that prison group. I hope I didn't complicate them. No. Look, I tell you what, um... Martinez here could use a hand with something. If you wouldn't mind helping them out, I'd appreciate it. Let her go. Why would I do that? She just wants to be with her people. You talked to her? No. You did. You knew she was leaving, didn't you? She told me. <laughs> what else did you two talk about, huh? Did you tell her about the deal? Did you tell her about Michonne? She knows, doesn't she? <laughs> I have a very good poker face, my guy. Andrea jumped the wall. On your watch? And you let her go? Hey, man, these guys have been talking. She's trouble. Oh, well, maybe she's not the issue. She said some pretty crazy shit. You know why? Because she's crazy. Don't screw this up for us. I'm just looking out. For you two, maybe. What the hell are you talking about? We've got a good thing here. I don't want to get tossed out because of you. These guys are on edge. They've been attacked by that crazy-ass cowboy, some chick with a sword. Shit's going down, and you're making waves. We just have to get with the program. I am. That guy doesn't trust you. Do not screw this up. He's back, man. Or what? You need to shame me in front of my boy again? Don't go there, man. Donna, I just happened to be there. It could have been anyone. But it wasn't, was it? It was you. You want to do this now? Long time coming. You guys catch up. I just realized these are the same people that were with them. I completely forgot. <laughs> it was me. I saved her life. Right place, right time. And from that moment, she was glued to you like a lost puppy. Her knight in shining armor made me feel like... I could have done it. I know you could have. She didn't. Of course she did. She knew that. She was just scared, that's all. This ain't got nothing to do with you or me. Let's go. Fire it up. We ain't done. What is that? Jackpot, baby. Some kind of extermination? You could say that. No weed now today, Shump. More than Mary. All right. You got a use for them? Honey, we got a use for everything. This got something to do with that meeting tomorrow? The one with the prison group? Oh, oh, oh. Get that man a prize. You're bringing biters? Alan, heads up. OK, this is genius. Hey, kid, <laughs> grab the collars out the truck. The same right. You think we're going to have any problems today, fella? I didn't think we'd be feeding people to biters. And what do you care? They're rats. This is sick. Hey, you give me a hand here. Ty, you deaf? I'm not doing this. They got women and children. You can't do this. All right, sue yourself. We get back, you tell the governor. He'll send you packing. Send you all packing. There's no need for that. Damn it. Relax. We looked out for each other. We'll do it again. We'll get out of your way if that's what you want. You don't speak for us. And you're not sending my boy out there again. I look out for him. Like you looked out for Donna? Who he is, right? Go on! 
You okay? They've all been very productive. Shump, take him back to town. Let him do some knitting. Get in his car. Drive away. That's your home now. Your people. Your town. You can't just leave them all behind. Please, Andrew. Come home. Suit for yourself. <laughs> find a really small crevice and then just stay there. There's no fucking way you'd find me. No fucking way. She's making so much noise. <laughs> Arguably the smartest thing that she's done. Don't stay and watch. How many bullets you got? Now take his car. I 
his car. Yeah. just had a bit of poker face. <laughs> that wouldn't kill them. Did you fight her? No, look. She got worried. Someone barbecued the pit biters. Who? We got a few shit stories in the bunch. Tyrese and his sister. Send them over to this stroll. The rest of the group, too. Sorry to keep you waiting. Did you find her? No. Hardly made it back myself. Why are you lying? Oh, again tomorrow. Like, why'd you lie to that guy? So I, uh, knows your business? Little... We'll hang up at the pit. You got a beef with Rick. That's fair enough. But you can't be feeding his kids to biters. No one's feeding anyone to biters. So the trail is. No, it's a, it's a scare tactic. It's a bluff. Huh? I'd rather scare his people into leaving us alone than engaging in another fight. Save lives here. Oh, shit. They're just for show. You know, people are more afraid of a biter on a leash than a gun in their face. It's pretty effective. Then why didn't your man just say that? We don't discuss tactics with people that we, we don't really know. And yet? I shoot my mouth out sometimes, but the truth is we want to stay. I saw red. Won't happen again. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Where did you get the gasoline? Come again? Doesn't matter. Maybe it was nothing. Is she dead? I hope not. Are you okay? Never been better. It's a real shame about the pits. You heard about that, huh? I hope you find out who did it. Already have. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video.
all right here uh well that was the walking dead season three episode 14 look i don't want to victim blame but i i'm probably gonna victim blame look you wouldn't be in this scenario if you just like left you weren't stupid I'm just saying like there were so many red flags so many of these fuckers and you were like i can change him you know, if you just shot him the night that Carol told you to do that. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. She's a stupid character. She did stupid things. In a world where you're not supposed to be stupid. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.